An Indonesia-based economist has said the regional comprehensive economic partnership will become major impetus for global and regional economic recovery. Fitro Faisal, economist and executive director of Next Policy, an independent think tank, said RCEP and China proposed initiatives like the Belt and Road Initiative have been beneficial to global growth. By now,、uh, we are seeing that RCEP is the largest. Trade and economic cooperation in the world. This will actually becoming a, a, a major impetus in terms of the global and regional economic recovery. So when we engage more, when we collaborate more, we can actually survive together. Now we are seeing that China is trying to see to 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 build the maritime Silk Road. The maritime Silk Road itself can also be beneficial not only for China but also to the countries. That is actually being engaged with this initiative. We can see the infrastructure,、um, you know, growth. We can see also the potential of the economic growth, and also the trade and、uh, other kind of、uh, of growth. One of which is actually、uh, investment and also, yeah,、um, the overall ecosystem for the economic.、Uh, in the future, this Belt and Road Initiative, maritime Belt and Road Initiative, will actually become,、um, you know. Major balancing in the world. When we are seeing today that world is becoming the, the global world is now becoming disintegrated. We are we are seeing not globalization, but we are seeing deglobalization. So by actually pushing this initiative along with other initiatives, so this will actually、uh, push the regional growth even more, and we will become actually the、uh, major powerhouse for、uh, the globe. Taking Indonesia as an example, the economist said the country has strong economic ties with China, which benefits both countries. We have the stronger、uh, economic relationship over the years, and we are hoping that、uh, in, the, in the near future this economic ties will, will, will grow even more. So we have some several infrastructure projects、uh, on progress. We have also,、um, yeah. Chinese investment and also yeah China's engagement with our、um, you know、uh, possibility of of pushing the electric vehicles yeah the batteries the nickel and so on and so forth so so this is actually very very promising in the future so it's a, a bit of reciprocal relationship.